Hi everyone, so I have been continuously getting queries about our analog electronics course. So here in this video, I am going to give all the information about our upcoming course. So we are going to start on YouTube from 27th of March. So just note down the date and start studying right from 27th of March. So let's see the course curriculum first. So let's see how I have designed the course. So our first chapter will be diode circuit. In diode circuits, we are going to cover very in depth. This is around 18 hours of content. In 18 hours, we are going to cover the complete diode circuit. So we are going to cover first the basic semiconductor physics, then we are going to study short circuit and open circuit test. Then we are going to study the small signal analysis of diode, which is often ignored by the aspirants, also by the educators as well sometimes. So we are going to study very in depth of small signal analysis. This will also help to build the concept for MOSFET and BGTs as well. And then we are going to study about general diode, clipper circuit, cramper circuit, very in depth. We are not going to see only the standard circuit uh, because in many of the courses we have seen, we are going to solve only the standard circuit but here we are going to design the circuits as well and then we are going to solve those circuits so once you see the lectures you will you are going to fall in love with those that that is my guarantee and then we will see voltage multiplier not just the standard circuit for a simple voltage multiplier i will deal three to four circuits and that will help you to clear your concept in very in-depth manner then we will see capacitive circuits and then we will see assignments so in diode circuit i have designed three assignments i guess so all those three assignment solution we will see after that Normally BJT is covered, but we are going to cover four terminal de device that is MOSFET. So first we will study MOS physics, then we will see biasing. Why do we bias the MOSFET? What is the advantage of biasing? And then we will move to amplifiers. Then how from biasing to amplifier, how do we move there? Then we will study about common gate, common uh, source, common drain and cascade, cascode, all type of current mirror, frequency response, feedback topology, differential amplifiers, everything we are going to cover. CMOS inverter is not in the gate syllabus, but it can be asked. It can certainly be asked and in the previous three to four years as well some kind of question are asked from CMOS inverter so it can be asked any day so very in depth we will cover it on YouTube okay so yeah this MOSFET we are going to cover in the in a very in depth manner till now I have not recorded the complete syllabus complete syllabus of MOSFET but I am currently working on it but certainly it will be coming on YouTube it will slowly and slowly coming on YouTube when the diode circuit is coming I will be recording that videos for MOSFET. So your time will not be wasted. That is my guarantee. Every day I will be uploading one of the videos. So it's not that the videos will stop coming. Okay. So after that I have designed operational amplifier. We are going to cover operational amplifier very in very much in depth. Operational amplifier is one of the most important topic. So we are going to see everything. Uh, first we will see it as a black box. From differential amplifier we will pick the op-amp. So once we have designed the differential amplifier then how from a differential amplifier op-amp is made so once we have we are coming at the op-amp then we will see op-amp as a black box like op-amp as a black box looks something like this then we will see this okay so in this also we are going to cover everything that is required non-linear application linear application integrator subtractor adder differentiator inverting amplifier non-inverting amplifier every single thing then the known identities also we will see slew date cmrr input offset, output offset, bias current, input bias current, all those things we are going to see. Then we will see the positive feedback application as well. In positive feedback, what do we see? Smith trigger, oscillators, multi-vibrators. So everything we are going to see and very, very in-depth. Those who have followed me for analog electronics, be it placements course or some concept of a gate exam as well. So those who know in how much depth we cover analog electronics, right? And filters and frequency response, we will see. And at the last, we are going to cover BJT that is not that much of important why it is not that much of important because nowadays people are not focusing much on bjt's bjt's are used in high frequency circuits if you are going to study rf and uh, all those branches you are going to use bjt's there so in high frequency circuit bjt's are used but uh, gate mainly focuses on bjt physics and biasing they ask question from biasing certainly they ask question from biasing saturation region linear region they ask question from biasing so that we are going to cover in very detailed analysis but rest of the things are same as MOSFET but we are not going to cover in very in-depth analysis but only the required content we will cover because there is very very rare chance that they will ask question from BJTs in the examination or in the interview so whatever that we are covering in MOSFET like uh, uh, common gate common uh, like all kind of mo amplifiers we will cover in case of BJTs it will not be common gate it will be like common emitter common base common collector so those everything we are going to see but not very much in depth because these are not asked 
if you see previous year question last 10 year question paper the in case of bjt they are only asking the bicing question but in case of amplifiers most word amplifiers they are asking a lot of questions so we are going to focus much on most amplifier once you are comfortable with most amplifiers bjt will be a cake walk for you so in bjt we will not take much of time in most word we will take a lot of time i guess around 30 to 35 hours we will take in most words only so everything we are going to cover every single question will be solved by you and not just the solution you will also know what they are actually trying to ask you will be able to frame the question from your own this is no i'm not, not just bragging since i am making this course i can like guarantee this that uh, you are going to learn a lot of new things which you haven't learned in the past and those who have studied from me once be it in placement course they can write down in the comment section how the content is de delivered in those paid courses so then opam and then bjts so this is the flow of our course right now those who are watching me for the first time those who don't even know how do i teach why would they trust me right so you surely must be having some trust issues with me that uh, why should we follow you so i have made a playlist on our on our prep fusion channel prep fusion gate this is our channel prep fusion gate so this is not the comprehensive course these are some of the videos only these are some videos only which i have made for specifically for analog in these videos i have explained some of the concept like here i have explained capacity filters here i explained mosfet amplifiers in very brief manner here i sold the opam question of gate 124 which was sold by no one on youtube and i guarantee no one is going to solve as well once you see the solution you will realize that what kind of depth was required to solve this problem uh, you could mark the answer very quickly but the complete solution requires very much in depth analysis so then you you will learn there and even this gate 124 question requires a very very much in depth analysis then that also you can see and you can also go in in the comment section because in the comment section also you will find out there will be many people who will be writing a lot of good things about this course right so this is not the course this is these are just some of the videos which you can watch if you found them helpful if you found them intuitive if you find them like you are learning something new then you can certainly follow, follow our course once you watch uh, three to four videos of our course i am pretty sure you are not going to watch any other resources that's pretty sure okay yeah so yeah just to build the trust i have made this playlist you can go to our channel prep fusion gate there you can find out these uh, you can find out these videos and watch these videos for your trust like if uh, you if you understand it you can certainly watch our playlist if you don't understand you can certainly follow some other algorithms as well right now some of the common queries will be there what will be the course language course language will be english but it's not that i will be speaking a very different kind of accent i will be using a different kind of accent and then you you will not be able to understand that this is this is not going to be the case right hindi bolte hain sabhi meri hindi to aap logon ne suni hogi kafi baar to main hindi mein bolta hu agar koi complicated concept aaya to that i will be explaining uh, that i will be explaining in english as well as in hindi as well so no need to worry even hindi viewers will be able to understand that's my guarantee and certainly english users will be able to understand course duration this should be around 80 to 90 hours i am not done with the complete course yet but it should be around 80 to 90 hours whole course will come on youtube this will be the question look it's not possible for me to give whole course completely free on youtube i hope you understand we have already given network analysis for free on youtube complete course is there you can watch that course you will fall in love with the network analysis that's my guarantee if you watch that course we have given completely free control systems control system is around 80 to 90 hours and the kind of depth we have covered once you watch those video you will realize that so control system we have given uh, for free even we are planning aptitude for free on youtube complete aptitude will also come for free on youtube major part of analog will also come for free on youtube but not the complete one i cannot guarantee you the complete one but we are starting from 27th march we are starting from 27th march till 30th of april i am till 30th of april i will daily try to upload one video so at least 50 hours 40 to 50 45 to 50 hours of content will be available on youtube itself rest of the content will be paid did you understand uh, this point from 27th of march we are going to upload the videos so at least 45 to 50 hours of content i will be uploading till 30th of april so that will be available for free after that it will be paid and the price will be very very less like it will be very much affordable that's my guarantee 
the price that we are going to uh, get uh, that we are going to demand for the whole course that will be very very less and in the whole course what you will get you are going to get uh, the complete course videos also you will get test series test series of each subject two to three test series of each, each subject so nearly around 12 to 13 tests you will get in the paid course also you will get uh, live doubt solving that we will be coming live on google meet or zoom platform to solve your doubts if you are a paid student also you will get assignments around nearly around 15 assignments you will be you will be getting so everything that is required to master analog electronics that will be that you will be getting in the paid course but there is no announcement of paid course till now i am not announcing anything for the paid course paid course will be coming in i guess in may only so till then i will be uploading everything on youtube why i am not uh, why i am not launching the paid course right now only because i am not done with the syllabus yet i haven't made the complete videos i am currently in the mosfet part only i have recorded a few videos of operation amplifier as well i have recorded a few videos of bjt as well but not the complete one once i am done with the complete syllabus then only i can launch the course so when i am done with the complete syllabus then only i will launch the course but till then till then i will daily upload one video on youtube from analog electronics course that's for sure so till your study will not be affected okay your study will be continuous you will always be studying and once we are done with the course we will launch the paid course then you can buy the course and study from the paid one but it's not that i will be affecting your studies on youtube daily one video will be coming till the date till the date i launch the full course did you understand it so i hope you understand why we cannot launch the full course on youtube right we cannot launch the full course but major part we will be uploading mosfet amplifiers the part where you find the most difficult way that we are going to upload because many of the students are unable to understand mosfet amplifier big circuits they draw then they confuse then they get confused a lot but i will be uploading the major part of the analog electronics on youtube the complete one will come on paid platform right so yeah these are your common queries if there if you are having any other doubt you can comment it down and what about my demand my demand would be simply a share and a subscribe because if we are giving this much of content on youtube i would be expecting a good amount of share and subscribe from my viewers so currently we are having nearly around 4.2k subs on our prep fusion channel prep fusion gate so you can you can share it uh, so on 20th of march on 27th of march how much subscriber i can have what's your guess or how much you can deliver i am expecting nearly around 4.6k 400 subs i am expecting in the span of 7 days in the span of 7 days i am expecting 400 subs so on 20th of 7 on 27th of march i am expecting this much i hope you will be sharing it with your friends uh, with your batchmates or with your juniors and i am pretty sure you will fall in love with the analog electronics and in any interview you go the first subject you will pick is analog electronics the second one you will pick network analysis third one you will pick control systems and fourth you are going to pick communication systems okay and that's my guarantee if you are following this channel that uh, not a single question you will never find any difficulty in solving a single question right every question will be solved so just have the trust and start studying from 27th of march we are going to upload all the content that is available currently okay yeah so that's it if you are having any other query you can comment it down i will certainly answer okay thank you